All right, so uh, my video cut off. I had to um, delete some shit in order to create more space. But yeah, so I'm gonna get back into the book. But check this out though, like about the tarot. Check the side. Look at this, man. Look how crisp and clean these bad boys are, yo. Like, wow, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful deck, man. It's beautiful. Um, so I was looking at the. Uh, the, the guy that, that he, he's getting with the book. And the, the, the dude has a pretty interesting background. But just really quickly, I want to go over just a quick introduction about the book. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like I said, my man, he put the Seal of Solomon in there. You know what I'm saying? The, the, that's, that's the Seal of Solomon, yo. <laughs> like, my man, is, did his, he, he knows his shit. You know what I'm saying? And I always salute people that, that do their research and and really know their shit before publishing anything, you know what I'm saying, anybody could be an armchair magician, but when you're in the field, you know what I'm saying, like, like, I've been in the field for a little bit, um, and, and I know, you know what I'm saying, from personal experience, when you, when you do the work, the, you know what I'm saying, it shows in your work, it shows in any type of publication, you know what I'm saying, that you put in, you put out, people attracted to that, people know it, they feel it in their hearts and souls, man, and this here is one of them, so, um, just a quick introduction, it says, according to the secret doctrine of Cornelius Agrippa, straight off bat, um, every mortal on earth has three guardian angels. Agrippa's occult philosophy is rooted in the secret, the sacred Kabbalah, or secret tradition of Israel, which pro uh, postulates that the powers of the powers of the seventy-two of the the seventy-two angels of the Simhimfrash are distributed through the times, the days, and the seasons. It is from this source that we obtain knowledge. Of their names, attributes, and mysteries. I'm not gonna go into any of that, but just from that that quick brief uh, uh, paragraph gives you an idea of what you're what you're dealing with. But you know, as you know, just quickly, as you know, as you're an angelic energy, your angelic energy. Everybody is born with an angelic guide. Everybody is born with the angelic energy, just like you're born with a demonic energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and your job is to bring those into balance. That's the work that I'm doing, especially you know. Well, I ain't gonna get off into it, but that's the work that I'm doing. And so, um, basically, you know, when you're, when you, when you're, uh, brought down to earth, you come down as both of those polarities. Um, it's your job to bring them back together as one. Um, but your angelic energies are your guides that walk with you through your lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And most people are drawn towards the angelic energy because it shows the benevolent side of them because they're afraid of their darkness. You see what I'm saying? So you have to work out. Through, through balance of your shadow side and what quote unquote light side okay so um to be a true light worker you have to be able to work in between both while staying in the middle point that's the trick but um so man my man's like he gives a breakdown man like i'm just you know what i'm saying he gives you the 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 hierarchy of angels man uh, he gives you the hierarchy of angels. He gives you, like, I was looking at this. You know what I'm saying? He gives you the hierarchy of angels. And I'm not going to go through the whole book. I'm just excited, yo. And the most important thing that drawn me out that I knew that this dude is official with this shit is he gives you a proper conjuration of the spirit. So if you're into doing guided conjurations and stuff, this, this tarot deck, is for you to fuck with, man. Not just to do readings, but just to, to get yourself acclimated to working with the angelic spirits, your angelic spirits. They're not the angelic spirits. They're your angelic spirits. Always take inward your own energies. You know what I'm saying? So when you're fucking with shit like this, know that you're working with aspects and attributes and talents of yourself that you're unlocking, okay? Um, and he gives you the 72... The 72... Uh, the 72, you know what I'm saying? The 72, the, 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 the archangels, 72, that, that you fucking with, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, bam, you know, and so, um, it's, it's a, it's a real thorough, uh, uh, book. Um, I was reading his, his, uh, his bio, you know, it says this dude is widely, his name is Travis McHenry. He's widely known as being one of the, the foremost occultists in the modern, modern era. I'm just not hearing about him. 
He has written books on the history of the tarot and a memoir about his tenure research into paranormal phenomena. A native of rural Pennsylvania, Travis grew up surrounded by folklore, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he, he began studying the dark arts in the in 1990s when he stumbled across a secret coven of witches who subsequently befriended him and allowed him to publish his first work, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to go through it, but um, yeah. I'm just excited. Get your hands if you're if you're doing the tarot readings, if you're interested in doing your own tarot readings, um, and just really unlocking those angelic energies. Fuck with this deck. Um, I'm still doing readings and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's first come first serve. I'm gonna get to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. You you sign up, you purchase a reading. I'm gonna give you your shit. You know what I'm saying? 100. I give you my word. Um, you know uh, products. You know, I'm doing everything, so don't think that it's, 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 a, it's a third party or anything like that. I'm pushing everything out myself, you know what I'm saying? Putting the shit together, buying the products, doing what I need to do to make sure that you guys get 100% quality of your shit, man. you know what I'm saying? So be patient with me. Um, I'm going to get to you as soon as I can. Thanks for, thanks for your support. Thanks.